Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppins Craig, and it's D. Brought to you to this vid by Look It's Jay. It's titled Famous TikToker Mr. Prada on the Run After Offing His Therapist and Stealing His Car After. Not Stealing the Car, too. I saw a headline about this about some TikToker uh, popping his therapist, and I was thinking, like, hmm, maybe he told him something that he didn't want to hear about himself, or I, I don't know. But I mean, you also have to consider that these therapists are seeing people who are not the most mentally stable, so. You know, there's that. Maybe he snapped about that. I'm not sure what the details are, but he's gonna tell us. So let's watch. He shows like a lot of clips and stuff too. He's not just talking. So. Oh, and he got clips of the guy. I don't think I've ever seen him before, Mr. Prada. But apparently he's like really popular. Okay, boy. Get Always that. tell people, bruh, never judge an individual. If you don't know what they going through, bruh. If you ever saw this dude on TikTok, you know, like I know, within the last two years, something had just oddly been off by him. And you could tell that something was going on. Years. But now that this happened, this really confirmed everything I thought. But this is crazy, bruh, because, man, it's obviously more than we think. And it's deeper than what everybody else know, bruh. Mm. Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is, bruh. It's look at Jay here, y'all. Back okay, at we'll tip to him. And he's allegedly a person of interest after unaliving his mental health therapist. And people are saying that they saw the signs early, but it's more to the story they won't know about. Now we're gonna talk about it and we're gonna dive into it but real quick, but y'all know my routine. Hit that like button, you feel me? And also comment, tap in, tap in down below and smash that notification bell so you can be notified anytime that I drop a video in general. Now, as I said, bro, uh, we got a guy that goes by the name of Mr. Prada on TikTok, has been trending all over social media after pretty much he's allegedly a person of interest after allegedly unaliving his mental health therapist and um, allegedly bearing him in a dip, taking off with a car oh. and crashing, and right now he's on the run. Office is asking for your help right now, trying to identify investigators say it's a person in the death of a Baton Rouge therapist, Dr. Nick Abraham. Now, the sheriff's office believes this man was driving Abraham's car when he uh, sped away from traffic, a uh, traffic stop, and, and crashed, and then later ran off. Dr. Abraham's body was found Sunday morning, if you recall, in a ditch outside of the village uh, of Tanchbahoa. Investigators say they believe the therapist was Saturday evening, and his body was dumped overnight. Now, the East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office, the Tanchbahoa Parish Sheriff's Office, the Baton Rouge Police Department, are all working together on this case. At this point, we don't know a, a motive. We know this uh, was a very violent attack. And we don't know if it was, you know, one suspect or multiple. Sheriff Ticker, they're saying no oh, murder go. weapons have been found yet. Call Crime Stoppers at 344-STOP if you have any information that can help investigators as they work to piece this together. Now, if y'all are unaware of who this guy is, he goes by the name of Mr. Product on TikTok. Uh, I think he started posting, like, back in 2021, but he went viral, like, in 2022. You know, I, it wasn't nobody. I was just always watching, but I remember he seeing him on my page all the time, but... I um, mean, it seems like, you know, things start taking a drastic turn. Now, you could tell from when he first started posting to lately the way he's been posting and reposting, you could tell that something mentally was just was not right with him because he just started cutting his hair bald and just started doing a lot of odd things. And I just thought, like, we're going through something. But, like, I never knew it would get to this far. Now, the article reads, Attention behold, a Paris Sheriff's Office on Monday night, September 3rd, distributed a picture of a person of interest sought for questioning in connection to the discovery of a Baton Rouge therapist body found in a tarp and dumped in the ditch over the weekend. The agency said it's detected to believe the picture individual captured by a sports surveillance camera is the last person known to have been driving the vehicle belonging to the 69-year-old homicide victim. Identified earlier Monday as William Nichols Abraham. The TPSO said Abraham's vehicle was spotted Monday afternoon by Baton Rouge police who attempted a traffic stop but the driver of the vehicle sped away and immediately escaped on feet after crashing the car, authorities said. Just before 8 a.m. Sunday, a passerby reported a suspicious rolled-up tarp on the side of the Highway 51 between Flucker and the village of Tejipahoa. Deputies discovered the body of Abraham inside the tarp. Victim Nick Abraham was a well-known Baton Rouge-based mental health therapist. The coroner office determined his cause of death to be blunt, forced trauma, and ruled it a homicide. Sheriff Gerald Sticker said the trauma was to Abraham's head, neck, and shoulders. It was very physical, very violent death, Sticker said. A search for the victim home in East Baton Rouge, Ferris found no indication that any crime had been committed there, investigators said. Investigators said the victim's car was initially missing, but it was located in the Baton Rouge area on Monday afternoon. The East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office is assisting, and pretty much they're asking anybody knowing the information 
tap in and contact them. Now, which is crazy is like I said, bro. If you, if you look at the pictures of him, you can tell that you know something looked odd about him. Now he got caught on camera, and they're saying that you know this dude was pretty much beaten. You know, they said blunt uh, trauma for it. So I don't know what he got hit with because they can't find no type of weapon or nothing. But it seems like the last person that was in his car was him. Now it's crazy because like I said, uh, if you watch TikTok. Or know of this guy, like I said, you could just tell that something was just oddly off of him, and you could tell that he was probably going through something mentally. But hey, he never said nothing. Do anything drastic unless you want to look like this. I mean, this is what he came to do. Y'all need to check on him. In my face. Giving an update on um, my life. That's what I had to look like. Becoming a nightmare. And this is why I say, bro, you always want to check on people and before you judge them, like, oh, they weird. Because that was my first reaction. Like, this dude weird. What's wrong, bro? But come to find out, I think I'm like, actually, let me not say that because I don't know where his mental health is. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know where bro may take it. You feel me? And, you know, it's wild because yeah. the dude was young. He was born in 2000. And, let, me make sure, let me fact check this again. Yeah, he's like, he's a younger guy. You feel what I'm saying? He was 22? born in 2000 and 2004. You feel what I'm saying? So he must oh, be 20 years old. So... You know, um, there's no telling them what happened. They're not saying why he did it. Because I don't think a person would do that for no reason. But when you're dealing with mental stuff, bro, yeah. you never know what a person going through. Now, one thing that caught time. my interest was the guy that lost his life, rest in peace. Somebody found an article from back in 2015. And as you see, it says Baton Rouge there was accused of an 11-year-old boy during his counseling oh. session. So people are trying to lay it that that's what happened. That that's who did an 11-year-old boy during his counseling session. So... People are trying to lay it that that's what happened. That's who did it. I don't know what was the reason behind it, but uh, I will say, man, prayers to this man. You know, uh, prayers for his mental. And also for guys who's out here um, that's going through stuff. You still able to have a speaking out. That? Because obviously with this dude, it was signs and other YouTube videos, which caught me off guard this video right here. But people just think people be talking to talk. But the whole time, they be crying out for help, bro. No, that's true. I'll just say I, I've never... I've never met anybody that was more crazy than me. So. Well, when people talk to me these days, they be playing like they got issues. I really got issues. I mean, he's saying it. So people trying to connect it with the past shit. It's like, you can't just make that connection and think that that is what happened and it said that that happened with an 11 year old boy he's 20 you know so if he's a pedo then he's gonna want i mean this is terrible to even <laughs> to even say but he probably too old for him if, if he going after little boys he's 20 so he's saying he has problems so. <clears throat> Now, one thing about it, you know, you can't help somebody that don't want to be helped, you know, but it's same time, bro. Like, check on your friends, even the ones that be strong and all that. People think, you know, because you got these big old followings and big old platforms, that everything good. I ain't going to lie, bro. This week has been one of the toughest weeks of my life in a while. And I ain't going that extreme with it, but y'all know the Hurricane Helene John hit, bro. A lot of power been off. No stories have been open. Everything's trying to give it open now, but traffic been mm -hmm. bad bro mm -hmm. family been all over my crib oh, yeah, I'm, cool. I'm going through a breakup just the, the just the worries of life just where i'm gonna be within the next five years you feel me there's a lot be going on in my head you feel me yeah. but i know how to deal with it you know I, I sometimes put my phone down a little bit you know read my bible i pray a little bit i read a little bit sometimes you gotta just <laughs> find hobbies to you know not stretch yourself out but one thing i'll notice bro in this lifetime and i know this is kind of off topic but overthinking stress and doubt are solid killers, bro. I'm telling you, that does more damage than anything. You feel what I'm saying? You gotta okay. just know, bro. Everything is in God's hand. You can't be worrying, bro. You know, um, but I'm really hoping that dude they find him and see if he actually did it, but that he get the help that he actually needs. Because regardless, bro, that man a human at the end of the day. You feel what I'm saying? He's not no evil person, he's just somebody that probably needs somebody to talk to and every now and then. Can we kill him? Very sad situation. RP to that that man. Um, but I mean, if he's a pedo, it's like, bro. I, nobody deserves to die though, so I'll just leave it at that. I'm not gonna say anything, um, rude or insensitive or mean. Um, want to put my respect on on the dead. Okay, so I will say that. But yeah, this Mr. Product guy, he can't just be out here killing people. You know, so yeah, hopefully he does get help. 
But unfortunately, if he did do this, which it's looking like he did, if he's driving the man's car, the hell, um, then he's going to face the consequences. You know? But depending on how mentally unstable he is, maybe they will just, you know, get him help. And maybe he won't do much time. But considering that he's, you know how this legal system is, okay? He's... <laughs> So I don't know. They might be like, anyway, take your black ass to jail. But uh, yeah, R. I. P. To to this therapist man, and um, uh, we will see what takes place. I guess I've never seen him on TikTok, but apparently he's very popular. So yeah, Pr- prayers to everyone. This is a messed up situation. Y'all, let me know what y'all think though. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.